but yeah, the nurses there absolutely fabulous. Yeah, I couldn't uh, couldn't speak highly enough of them. They're they're really good, and and you do at first you kind of feel like they're completely different from me, and do they really sort of uh, you know connect or understand where you're coming from? But it doesn't matter after a while. They're really good and friendly, and and it and it's great, and they do understand sort of thing, and. And yeah, I felt really relaxed around them, and I didn't feel like I'm millions of miles away in another country with just my daughter who was back at the hotel. Now, the other day, I think it was Wednesday, was the first full day tour I did, and they picked us up at 9:30, and we got home at five, and that was a private tour. So we were in a bus for like an hour and a half there, and an hour and a half back. So we, I was relaxing, but that yeah, we came home that night and we got some dinner early, and we just sat in the in the apartment and had dinner shower and sort of went to bed relatively early so and I said to my daughter that was the first full day I've done so we did really well seeing the elephants and everything that sort of stuff and walking around but we sort of built up to it we didn't just do it first day out so I knew that I was going to be somewhat sore and and have to build up to it so we kind of did little shopping expeditions then we'd go for walks and uh, to see the towers and whatnot and and if I felt like I was tired we'd catch a taxi home and yeah. you know just sort of really sort of listen to what I was capable of doing. And there was times when I'd sit down and have a cup of coffee, even when I wasn't really wanting the cup of coffee, just to sit down in a comfortable chair and relax. So it's helped. I think, yes, emotionally I've coped better than I would being so far away from home with such a, a big journey. But I've had now, you know, I bought a SIM card when I got here the first night so I've been able to load it into my phone and on social media I've been able to con keep in contact with everyone. I think that's the difference. You know, last time I went overseas I had my phone and I had limited internet access and things like that because you just didn't buy a new SIM card then. And now with doing that, you know, and some one of the ladies here um, who we went for the shopping day with who had a procedure done, she had her phone from Australia and she had that problem of, it wouldn't work. It was limited everything. And I said, you should have bought a SIM card. So being an older generation, oh, I wouldn't have known to do it. It was only my daughter told me, right, when we get there, we buy a SIM. And I think we paid like 25 Australian dollars and that's covering us for the whole month, you know. And that was the smartest thing to do because I haven't been disconnected from any family or friends. I've still got everything from my work. I'm getting all the emails and everything. So... Uh, it's like I'm five minutes down the road compared to thousands of miles away. So I think that's made a massive difference on the emotional connection that I don't feel lost. So uh, we've had Kamari looking after us and she's, you know, made the effort. She came in on weekends and saw me even though she's not working. So my first day of recovery was a Saturday, but she came in and saw me and, and things like that where she didn't sort of have to. But, yeah, and she really is, makes a, a, a very personal um, and she sort of introduced me to a couple of the other ladies and people, couples here that have gone through procedures at the same time as me, which was nice. We had lunch with one couple and, and I took another lady that we'd gone to the hospital together at the same time. So making those connections with other Australians or some of them were New Zealanders, which was nice to do so far from home. So you'd see someone across the thing from breakfast that you knew and you could say hello every day sort of thing. Not that you were hanging out with them or anything, but you could do if, if they were inclined to, you know.